Oseo. Oseo. Okay, starting off with a um, prescript. <laughs> Jim just told me, uh, following my uh, talk on this grass theme last Sunday, that he's given a name with unanimous approval <laughs> of his musical group of sweet grass and sage. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? And I have another one following uh, this. This is for Mr. Tim Britton and his long association, familiarity, uh, probably affection for grass. <laughs> I have made, made for him this medicine bundle of sweet grass here, which will be the theme I'm going to also read. So I'm awarding Tim this sweet grass. The roots are still on. It's, it's the one medicine uh, herb that is recommended to take by the roots. Uh, and so here, this is um, a tobacco tie, which is also hochichinkia, meaning um, like spiritual seed here. <clears throat> and then here, here is uh, the snake that means uh, snake food. Snake food is wolfberry, and that's my clan, wolfberry. And the little bell means rattlesnake here. So I'm gifting this to, to Tim on film. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and I have a little bit farther to go on this subject here of this uh, uh, wicker, wicker is what we would call it. This kind of basket is quite exceptional in all of Turtle Island. Um, and and archaeology of the Southwest, this first makes its appearance in about the 14th, 13th, 14th century. It is not seen or found anywhere else there. So where did it come from? Well, um, Claudia worked in the Children's Hospital in Arizona, and she worked with uh, a Hopi woman, Kalata. Kalatica. Kalatica, like that. So she let us in on a lot of things that was going on there in the Hopi world that the rest of the world knows nothing about. Now the Hopi in there, um, before the Americans came, they were pretty much left alone. Uh, the Spanish didn't get over there, the other people who went around raiding didn't bother them, and so forth. You know, it wasn't until the late 19th century when the Americans came in and tried to push their ideas on. Otherwise, the Hopis pretty much have, have stayed, what we would call, in, in the original old world view. Uh, that has to do with, with a lot of things. <clears throat> now, you know, in the time that we were there in our relation with the Hopi, uh, that they had a, a private ceremony, is what I would call it, that took place at the mouth of the Colorado River or the head of the Sea of Cortez there. And, and, and this was to uh, remember the time that the last clan to come to Arrivi, the Water Clan, also known as the Calcont, uh, which is the woman's uh, society. And this is probably where this basket came from. So they were the last clan to arrive, and they came there, they said, from um, what do you call it, like steps, like stepping stones from across the ocean, which presumably would be the islands. So they remember that, and, and that's probably the people who brought this basket because there are similar baskets in Asia uh, that I've seen that would look like that. So that's just a little bit something extra in this to give you an idea of the kind of evolutions that still continue with the Hopi. Baskets is, is totally, totally intertwined entirely with the Hopi culture. Probably like uh, nobody else has that. And here we get a good picture of this because we're going to be my illustration for my my reading. This blue buffalo woman. Wakinya, Thunderbird. Eagle pass by. The sea pass by. Behind it the spirits pass by. Like flowers, the spirits trail behind the sea. From where the spirits came, the placenta spewed forth. Spirits were born here. From the placenta, spirits were flowing like clouds. With the clouds, the sacred place appeared. 
and the buffalo appeared in it. Then the buffalo became cloud. Here the spirit saw it and knew it. It was the face and horns of the buffalo. He had changed into cloud and was raining. Green grows the bed of grasses, so they appeared together, called Yuwini Wichanga, Lady Sweetgrass. Here the spirits brought the face and horns of buffalo, and now the sweetgrass was born, and from it burst a yellow tassel. The spirits came near, loosening the yellow tassel. They became three yellow rays, and pronounced with song, oh, hey, 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 ah! the sweet grass will be the buffalo's cradle. And now, blue buffalo calf maiden appears, oh, hey, ah! oh, hey, ah! in the east, in the south, in the west, in the north, and in the heart of Turtle Island, blue buffalo are appearing. Oh, hello. Oh, hello.